Yo, it's Ron Fortune here with Hot New Hip Hop from Atlanta, Georgia. That's me, about to take over the small world. Call it mine, dick. My upbringing was like up north and jazzy, you know what I mean? But as a teenager, hanging around everybody else in the South and getting everybody else's style from that, like fused to pretty much what I am today, you know what I mean? I'm living in Atlanta, New York, LA, wherever I can make moves done really right now. It's no permanent, you know, station for me. I'm just steadily ascending. So I don't feel like I need to be tied down to anywhere geographically right now. Atlanta life right now is super dope. When I'm there, it's really just hanging out with my, my two sons and then studio hopping. Everybody's studio is pretty much in a close vicinity of each other because Atlanta's so small. So I hop up at Mako studio over at QC, go hang out with Zeus. And like everybody in Atlanta who's really popping is I'm kind of like messing with. So when I go down there, it's just showing love and dispersing that energy throughout. My sound and style is just authenticity. Like I know how to hang around trap people because I grew up around the trap. You know what I'm saying? I know how to hang out with art directors because I grew up around these people. So I know how to speak to multiple worlds. And you know, I don't think that many big labels right now can really understand that they've been using these new tactics on artists that don't really represent the current time and like i am what an internet artist is like i don't take that as slight at all because internet equals real world so that's what i am so until they start seeing what i am and how relevant i am to these times to come i'm gonna just Dola. The Dundill Young Thug collab, that was like my favorite one, smoking the Latin. And anything me and Blood Diamonds does and Childish Major, like that's like kind of like my top three right now. Upcoming stuff, it's this kid from Israel. I don't want to tell anybody his name yet, but he's the most amazing producer on earth. He's 17 and he's producing my next project. It's crazy. You got to take care of your beer, you know what I mean? Argan oil is going to do it. Coconut oil, conditioner, and shampoo is going to do it. You know what I mean? You got to get a beard comb when it starts to get length, you know, keep them tangles out. And then you always got to have a pretty girl to make sure, you know, there's no hairs out of place. At a certain point in my time when I was making this music, I was, um, I was homeless and I was pretty much couch surfing with girls, you know what I mean? And uh, it was kind of an inside joke type of thing because Everybody would call me a beautiful pimp. And it was, you know, the situations were not beautiful at all, but it was kind of like a real thing of how I was living. Beautiful pimp one and beautiful pimp two varied pretty big, vastly, um, only because I wanted for beautiful pimp two, I wanted people to look at me as an artist. I know beautiful pimp one had a lot of Southern trunk rattlers and C4 and you know Dundell spins it had a lot of that stuff on there, but I wanted to show people that I can make a cohesive storyline, a cohesive sound, live instrumentation, just so I can be brought in a certain light and not be pigeonholed as soon as I came out. But more beautiful pimp is coming. One, at least one more coming, and it's gonna be stupid. This new project. Laverone is produced by that kid I was telling you about. It's, it's my love below. I put it that way. It's my love below. Early 2015. Early AF 2015. 2015 is the step of major exposure, whether that be with the label help or, you know, not with it. That's that's the main goal. And past that, I want to be mentioned on a level, yay. Kendrick, Jay, all of these people, three stacks. That's that's where my goal is. So, you know, I got a long way to go. So, I'm not stopping anytime soon. You know what I mean? I just was able to, you know what I'm saying, illustrate, you know what I'm saying, the mind state of a Detroiter, you know what I'm saying, from, from my perspective, being somebody who and grew up on the east side and the west side. Got it's also acknowledging that I am a king of New York. And you know, there's you know, there's kings here. There's kings in each each right. You know, there was Jay Z, there was Diddy, there was Nas, there was Biggie, there was you know, all of these guys are. are